Two people are in hospital after they were thrown from their car during a high-speed crash in West Auckland. But firefighters say the toll could have been much higher after the car's battery smashed through walls, spreading sulfuric acid to end up in someone's kitchen. Kate Lynch reports. When Cairo McLean went to investigate a loud crash in his kitchen at 2 o'clock this morning, this is what he found. All I've heard is just this huge bang, then all of a sudden I just got up to just to check if um, our little two-year-old baby was all right and everyone was all right in the room. Luckily, everyone was all right. They and their two children were in bed. But the force of a nearby car crash had turned the battery into a dangerous missile. It flew over 100 metres through a glass door, then a plaster wall, and into their kitchen. Just came in the lounge and just saw um, the battery over here, just you can see through the wall, just gone straight through and just leaking acid everywhere. Even firefighters at the scene were amazed at what they saw. It reduces the hazards from our point of view because the ignition source is now sitting in somebody's kitchen. Um, the car's leaking petrol, so we'll have to deal with that at some stage, and the battery's leaking acid into the uh, people's house. They believe the car must have been travelling at well over 120 kilometres an hour when it lost control and crashed into a ditch. If the driver was up and walking around and two other people who had been occupants of the car uh, were thrown out in the crash and been taken to hospital. The driver was later charged with drink driving. Kate Lynch, 3 News.